Woohoo! Welcome to my quarterly update. The, this is a warning. Lots of Excel ahead. Lots of numbers, percentages and graphs. What a year, huh? It started with me in the hospital and didn't get any better. <laughs> So the last quarter is from April 1st to the 1st of June. Beverage bug galore. And my studs were severely affected by the beverage bug, especially my Patreon income. But I've got a positive effect through that catastrophe as well because I sell some face masks but uh, more to it later we go through every start one at a time as usual let's start with YouTube so we've got a little spike at 13th of April I released a video Lit RPG Calculating a Fight. It was pretty popular in the community. So I've got some new subscribers, but generally I didn't focus on YouTube that much. The most of my views are probably still from my <laughs> best video today. The ThinkSpot video and from my timers. I did three timers for the writing community. Yeah, you can see it here. ThinkSpot rules, lit RPG was pretty popular, and the next is the 20 minute timer. Shout out to Leora Sophie and Liza Daly, they both use it regularly and Quarty as well. Then I did a lot of short animations in the last month. They are just 12 seconds and are a bit so bad that it's good. Or I hope at least <laughs> that it's good. Another timer, Sentence Starter, I didn't realize that was so popular. A short watch time through. Another one of my short animations and another one of my short animations. So, yeah, I would say my animation work clearly won out. <laughs> and the genre specific video did well too. Yeah, I believe I totally will make more genre-specific videos. And of course for my readers, little short animation whenever I feel the need to express myself visually. Timers. I'm pretty okay with these timers. So I don't know if I will make some new ones. I had ideas and I even started working on one, so probably I will make new ones. But it's not on my priority list. It's more on my do something when you want to play a bit around list. So this is the whole year from the start of my channel. Oh, I've got my channel anniversary and I forgot about it. <laughs> oh well. I still see kind of an upward trend. I'm really stumped by this because you can see that I have less widths in the last three months. I didn't miss um, my weekly vlog, it's just that I privated it, so that explains the holes here, but there are too much holes, right? Here should be another video, hmm, curious. The average watching duration grew compared to before. I believe this is caused by the timers because people watch 20 minute timers. Okay, they don't watch it. They just let the writing timer go through the whole 20 minutes and voila, you've got more watch time. Alright, 
let's look at the last 90 days. Yes, I lost some subscribers. I couldn't quantify it, but if I look at this now, it is even more than I thought I had lost. Wow. There was a YouTube bug, so maybe they don't left voluntary. <laughs> Can I find the countries? Here. Oh, here's the Irish view per view. Great. So we'll see. The average view per viewer is pretty constant. We've got a slight decrease in German and US watches, so more international, not bad. And we've got an increase in subscribed viewers, a pretty big increase which means that my wits don't have a spread in the whole YouTube community, just in my little niche, which I think is from the tendency more negative, but I don't know. I added a Neuro top video 90 days. I have already got top videos lifetime. So we see we have no real spike in a champion video popularity in the last three months. This is rather uninteresting for me at the moment. We still got a huge external access of my page. And we look now where this external access comes from. I think I should make this for the last 90 days as well. I don't know what I did in the past, if I had it only for the last um, 90 days or more, but it will be more interesting for me to narrow it down on the last 90 days. From now on, last 90 days for the external traffic as well. Alright, here are the stats for this. We've got a slightly higher percentage of extern. So if I want to have more, yes, now I'm at the right stats. Ooh, Google is pretty high up. Reddit? I didn't do much Reddit in the last 90 days. Less WhatsApp? Let's note it down. So what really stands out are the two new entries, Google Search and ScribbleHub. ScribbleHub is not astonishing because I post there my links to my story related videos like I do with Royal Road. But the Google Search, I don't know where this comes from. Um, what astonishes me is that Patreon sank because I did post a lot of animations for my story on Patreon as well. I believe they count towards YouTube because I linked the YouTube stuff. So I'm pretty flummoxed by the low numbers. What's up is pretty rough as well because I did send my links to my friends <laughs> so nobody from my friends and family bothered to watch them okay I have to live with that and Twitter I posted all my videos on Twitter I believe at least and no one watched them or nearly no one watched them so meh Oh, and I remembered why there is so much uh, Reddit, because the lit RPG which uh, I posted this on Reddit and it was pretty popular with the lit RPG community on Reddit, so that's where these clicks are coming from. Now we're switching to social media. Last quarter I was too lazy for Facebook. And I did nothing for Facebook. Uh, this quarter I connected with uh, the author community on Facebook and got some author friends and some of them were nice enough to like my page. So we are looking at Facebook this time around. Facebook just changed their layout. 
so I'm even more flummoxed where to <laughs> click for my stats. Oh dear. Like I said, I got some new friends, yay to me, and a bit carried over to my page and tiny tiny bit to my group, but uh, I looked at my group and uh, no activity for the last new activity in August. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely not caring for this group enough. Pretty. I'm close to 3000 followers. In the last day I pushed for them like crazy because I want to bolster them up for releasing my novel. But when I see how little people click on these links on Twitter, I'm not that convinced that it is the right way to spend my time. But I will go up to 5000 and then we'll see more. So we see more tweets, more followers. Uh, but I want to show you that I made a lot of mini animations for in the Twitter format for advertising myself and my story and my animation services. This is um, another one. This is one for an author friend. So you can buy uh, these mini animations from me. I'm not sure myself how good they are, but I, I personally like it if you say hello to everyone. Like here, I introduced myself and I introduced my novel and I have a tiny little animation for myself and my novel. So I believe it's pretty cute. I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> we'll see how it develops. And now on to the quarterly searching for my calm. Ooh, there is it. <laughs> This was fast. Usually I search like a crazy person. Yeah, not much more karma because I wasn't active. Next, I even lost my account for Tumblr, so... <laughs> Tumblr is totally not on my priorities at the moment. I did bolster my Instagram for a tiny bit. Uh, but I think it was more a secondary effect from getting more friends and connecting to the author community. What I have to figure out is how to post animations on Instagram. I believe I can generate business through animations on Instagram. I don't even know if Instagram can do animations. I know Lisa posted my book cover animation for her on Instagram, but I'm not really sure how she did it. I have to research this. I discontinued being interested in Pinterest as well. Now uh, we go to Patreon. Yeah, you will see that uh, I think it's COVID-19 who destroyed my growth in Patreon. I mean, it's logical for me that when everybody loses their job, they want to decrease their entertainment costs and Patreon is an entertainment cost and they can read my web novel for free. It's just that on Patreon there are some advanced chapters. So let's say basically the subscribers I have on Patreon are people who support me and it's not as much about having additional value. I believe I should work on giving additional value to my patrons, but I don't want to exclude the free people. <laughs> So I have the plan for a little side story for Patreon and let's see, maybe I do it, maybe I don't. I made a new banner, I made new pictures for my tears. 
So let's go to my income. You'll see I had crazy growth in the m month up to COVID and then it stagnated but now in June it is again on a growing path. I hope to continue this growing path. One of my goals for the next quarter is tripling my patrons. I currently have 17 and I want to get them to 50. Yeah, here you see the uh, massive deletes. At least when I look at it here, it does look like a nice growth or a bit of growth. When you don't see the stagnating month. So that's good. We have had stagnating month, but still the quarter went better than the last quarter. So that's that counts a lot in my books. <laughs> So, Fiction Press is discontinued. Let's go to Wattpad Hughes. Ooh, nearly doubled it. More than doubled it. Toaster, we have to look for toaster. But let's look at the stats first. Oh, yeah. and ignore this downward <laughs> thingy here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the part t uh, 25 is the part where I maybe consider to make the cut for the first book. I mean, I can see this positively or negatively that the completion rate dropped here. This is completed reads by part and I interpreted that only 70% of the readers read this chapter to the end. So maybe they thought, yeah, this is a little story and it's okay up to now. <laughs> and now I can make a pause or maybe even discontinue it. No, that's shitty. How can I spin this positively? So there is the risk when I would cap my first book at part 25 that people won't buy their second book. Hmm. So I've heard that my middle is pretty muddled and I want to clear it up to make it more concise and relate it more to the later parts of the story and maybe, yeah, maybe do some some story structure stuff like turnaround or something like this. I, I don't know. Let's say I want to unmuddle it. And hmm, there are some pretty low rates. This is the end of book one. Uh, I posted the hundredth chapter and I didn't notice it because I changed my counting of the chapter numbers. Uh, so I didn't throw a party for it. <laughs> I regret it. I want to throw a party for my hundredth chapter. I will throw a big party for my thousandth chapter. I don't promise you that I write the thousandth chapter, but I promise you if I write the thousandth chapter, I will throw the party. Demographics, female, male, private. Yeah, pretty much as before. More Africans, I believe. Let's look for the toasters. <gasps> Number one in toaster. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now I can stop writing, Auntie. <laughs> I reached everything I ever wanted. I'm the number one in toaster. Ooh, number two in game lit. Not bad, not bad. But not good in lit RPG. I believe I rated higher in the past, or ranked higher, but pretty good in RPG, I don't understand this. 11th of 3.7k stories and rank 290 out of 315 story. This doesn't make sense for me. Oh well. Wow, I'm even pretty high in sci-fi fantasy. Wow, nice. 
violet apache. Oh, that's got pretty high views. I didn't know that the genre was going well on Wattpad. But this isn't really lit apache. Hmm. I made the number one all golden and shiny. Okay, not shiny. I could make it more shiny, but at least it's golden. Toaster number one. Woo, woo, woo. And now we are on web novel. Nice views, nice rating, nice, nice. All right. There weren't that many views more than before, which kind of astonishes me, because, like you see, my collections grew very, very nicely. My power ranking grew as well, yeah, and so only got a bit more views. Hmm. Yeah, but collections are more important and power ranking is more important as well because power and ranking influences how easy other readers can find my story. So a good power ranking is uh, will lead to more views long term, so that's great. Let's just have the tiniest of peaks on those confusing stats. Nice growth, nice growth. So like every quarterly report, I don't know what the stats mean, but I'm delighted that I can see upward trends. <laughs> and this is crazy. What is this? New valid readers. Web novel did promote me sometime. Yeah, I believe it was around the 17th April. Could this be? This really helped me. So, so um, thank you, web novel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good. Scribble up. We've got good. We've got a lot more views. Nice. Not that much more readers and not that much more hearts. I noticed this and the rating sank as well. But overall, yeah, it's, it's going, it's going nice on all the platforms in the last quarter. People have time for reading. Royale wrote. Ah, I sunk on the number where I can round up to five. <laughs> Mathematically round up to five. Oh well. I still have great engagement and dear Royal Road readers, thank you so much. Yeah, I get corrections, I get suggestions, I get motivations from them. The comments are really, really great. I've got new followers as well. It's great. I've got even more favorites compared to the followers, at least if I don't do math on it. Maybe I should do math on it. All right, so I generated two more rows. The first is the favorites compared to the followers. So the higher the number, the better. It means that I could convert people who read my story to people who love my story. It's great that they rose. <laughs> the second is the followers compared to the views. That mean people who view my story and maybe read a chapter or two and then said, yes, I want to follow this story. This number is the higher the number, the better as well, but it sank. So I could convert less people who looked at my story to subscribe to my story. Okay, but this might be, might be faulty because those views are of all the chapters. So there are much views by people who already are followers of mine. Hmm. On the other hand, it's even if I had more followers 
than views, which would mean that old followers didn't view it anymore. Okay, this uh, is too confusing and tells me nothing, so I delete it. Or it tells me too many things, <laughs> too many options how to interpret it. This faf to followers is uh, better. Good. Now we have all the platforms from the story. Next are my shops. Okay, a quick peek on the Royal Road Studs. I had forgotten this. Look at this mess. That's Royal Road. With new popularity always comes a drop in rating. This time it isn't from the trolls. I believe it's the four ratings who rose, four star ratings. So it's a much more serious issue than some trolls who want to push the other stories. But now let's look at something positive. Because I made money. Yes. Most of it is because of this nice little mask, Mask of Anti-Covid, it's a World of Warcraft styled mask and the other earnings are mostly masks as well. Nice, nice, nice. Social media, I did make ads on Twitter and a bit on Facebook, direct, organic. I don't know what's direct or organic, but it's important. <laughs> <laughs> so good for me. This isn't from masks, so good. I this isn't a mask as well, but I believe no, this is an iPhone case as well. But this is a mask, and these two are masks as well, and these are stickers. I wouldn't have thought that uh, stickers sold so well, but. I'm not complaining. What? This is ridiculous. I'm at Threadless at the moment and this mask got a score of 2.9 and this mask, which is my best seller, Red Bubble, got a lower score. Okay, I invested no time at all <laughs> for this presentation of the mask, so it's my bad. Maybe this is the reason for the low score. Huh. So I do have two sales. One mask of anti-covid and one rainbow tier 2. Uh, yeah. But I can't really see what kind of product they cho they've chosen. I believe the mask of anti-covid would be a mask. But rainbow tier 2. I have a lot of products for this. Hmm. So a tiny bit. The margins are really sucky. Wow. Maybe I should discontinue Threadless. Oh, they have skateboards. <laughs> I love designing skateboards. So, okay, I stay on Threadless. <laughs> I did have a sales on Spreadshirt as well, I believe. Statistic, yes please. Okay, one here. Oh, nice. Now we are on my homepage, joaninchahen.com. The last three months were okay, but not as good as the other month. United States, Germany, pages, animated covers. Looked container fared well. So a lot of the traffic is because of my story, because I posted their link to loot containers. Yes, referrals, Royal Road, search engines, oh, interesting. Let's go back to June. Twitter, Scribble Hub, okay, Royal Road. Interesting. So last to my animations. I did only one animation that I had myself, but now I have fiber gigs for animations and I did um, five of these and they don't show me <laughs> any studs. Those five were all I animate your book cover, but I have two additional gigs, 
one for photos and art and one for music albums or mixtapes or something like this. This is pretty new. I set it live yesterday and this I've got since a month approximately. I've got five sales from three different buyers and earned a bit. I believe I earned more than what is shown here. Let's go to earnings if we can get better stats. Here net income, pending clearance, available for withdrawal. Okay, what do we count? We count net income. So you can see here end of May was my first order. Or should I do this in Euro? I believe this is the dollar income in dollar. Okay, dears, that's it. I believe the quarter was alright, yeah? Mostly positive. I've got nice growth and the only two things which are not that great are uh, YouTube and my Patreon, but even the Patreon is alright. It was pretty flat, it wasn't the growth I expected, much less than the growth I did expect, but there was a bit of growth and so that's good. So the goals for the next quarter is or are tripling my Patreon. I want to have over 50 patrons and I want to release my book or at least make it ready for release. I mean, truly August, September, three months. I want to go forward on this topic and I'm considering starting a second story, a more normal story, <laughs> not that strange uh, slice of life of a 71 year old auntie, but someone, I mean, I only write old woman MCs, so this will stay, but less strange, more adventure oriented, less slice of lifey, with more action, something like this. I've got a few ideas, but nothing to speak about it yet. Yeah, so thank you for watching, and I wish you an awesome new quarter as well. <laughs> and uh, thank you, uh, my dear patrons. I hope you know that I love you not only for your uh, numbers, but uh, for your money as well. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, we'll leave it like this. Bye bye.